Henry. The show to me means a lot because I first discovered it through the news of a new pirate show and that made me very excited. Blackbeard, Captain Kidd, the gentleman pirate. And as I went along to saw it was more of a LGBTQ plus uh, themes in it, I, w I, w I stayed for that. So it was very fun and excited to see more characters of the, that minority group to be represented in a television, especially in a way that is accessible for many people. Bonifacia. I go by Jim these days. Well, come in, Jim. We'll have cake. Uh, to me, the show means representation. The show means diversity. Uh, the show shows that there is a place for everybody and that uh, the life that you start with doesn't have to be the life that defines you. Family's here now. Let's see. So the show is like the biggest comfort I've ever had in a long time. It feels like you're just not alone anymore. You're like, you have representation. There's no discrimination. It's just everyone's equal. It's like comfort, it's love. It's like, it makes me feel like I'm at home. And it's just a show that I think everyone needs because it's just the best thing ever. People want to see themselves on screen. Do you know what I mean? And people, it's not, I don't know why TV execs act like it's this like, really difficult formula to crack. It's like, if you hire diverse teams, you create diverse shows, you will bring in a diverse audience. It's not rocket science, do you know what I mean? And like, and I think this show, I think what's really cool about the show is when you look at the writing staff, they really put their money where their mouth is, you know, because we still have now like super diverse shows on TV that are written by an all white writing staff and an all cis writing staff and whatever. And I feel like, David, when he was obviously crewing up for his writer's room, was like really made a self-conscious effort to make sure that that room was like properly actually diverse and not just paying lip service. Um, and look at the result, you know? It's great. Um, I think what it means to me is it's just such a joyful show and it's that sense of found family. That's, that's something I've really connected with and being very different as well. I always find it very hard to fit in, but seeing that reflected on screen and seeing all these people that, get, that just found each other and just create this, this wonderful family, it was just amazing. It was a great thing to see. I love the visibility of the different kinds of masculinity. Mm. So he's a fancy man with a fancy ship. And he travels with a brigade of imbeciles. Do I have that right? Yes, I suppose you could put it. The best of you at swordplay. The, the journey that the characters have gone on. When I, when I first heard about the show, it was referred to as the gay pirate show. And I was going through the episodes and I didn't realise why it was called the gay pirate show. And much like my own queer journey, it was a kind of... It was, it was, it was a journey of discovery, much as, much as, much as Steed's character was and Blackbeard's character, and it resonates so much with me. And also, you know, just, just the obvious thing, that it is amazing to have, to have brown queer characters on, 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 on a series. As soon as I saw Blackbeard, I, I thought to myself, I'm going to do something other than Aquaman cosplays. <laughs> so we're going to go on up there and uh, we're going to cause some havoc. The show means everything to me. It's a real comfort show, um, just the the, just the funnies, I love the funnies. The scene where they're cooking the snake is, I can watch that on repeat and I have done so. I will stop the show and just rewind it a couple seconds, mouth along to the words. It's my favorite thing in the whole world. I'd come to your restaurant. You might not get them. It's gonna be very popular. You'd save me a seat, wouldn't you? But it's, I think Maybe. it's the diversity and having like a non-binary character as well as someone who is non-binary like 
I haven't seen that before. It's revolutionary. So this whole time, you were a woman? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Fragment's death uh, came to me in a very uh, difficult time in my life, where I was really unsure of a lot of things and of just generally confused. And it really helped me to find myself, find who I am, find what makes me happy and that I deserve love. And it's, it's made me realize that I want to create and that I want to write and that I want to have like a community uh, where I am a part of. What's her name? Ed. His name is Ed. We talk it through as a... Crew. 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 Because that's what we do here on The Revenge. We have a serious question to ask you. Are you a mermaid? <laughs> I told you. I'm not a mermaid. Right. If you wanted, I could be family. Just... I love it. <laughs> and I didn't know you at all. You're go out, you don't know about me. Life that you start with doesn't have to be the life that defines you. Time. It feels like you're just not alone anymore. It's you're... just that sense of found family. And much like my own queer journey, it was a kind of it was it was it was a journey of discovery. Having like a non-binary character as well as someone who is non-binary, like I haven't seen that before. It's revolutionary. That. So it was very fun and exciting to see more characters of the that minority group. And it really helped me to find myself, find who I am, find what makes me happy and that I deserve love.